Hi, it's Sage with Beautifully Organized, and this is the first video for what's working and what's not working. I'm taking you inside of my house to show you the things that are organized and I can use properly and things that maybe need a little more help. I'm excited to take you along this journey. I've done all the video shooting and editing on my own, so be kind and be open. Um, and yeah, I'm excited to share this journey with you. If you have anything to share, please put it in the comments below. Okay, so here we are in my kitchen, and from this view, it's, it's actually great. And I like this kitchen, it's bright, it has um, a fairly good number of cabinets, possibly not used in the best way. Um, not a ton of counter space, but it works, it functions. What definitely works is that crock pot for dinner or later. Okay, so here's the part that doesn't work, and um, this is what I would hide if I had somebody coming over to my house, is this over here. So there are no cabinets on this side, and I've got a table that I've used from an old house, and I've just started piling things. So one thing that I'd like to do in this room is come up with a strategy to create more cabinet space and to create more counter space. And I think with that, the kitchen will be in great shape on Ode to Kansas City, where I hail from before Toronto. So anyways, this would definitely be the area I'd like to focus on, and it would also alleviate a lot of other cabinets and counter spaces in my kitchen. Okay, so from my kitchen you come into the dining room and there are, again, a lot of things that really work in the dining room for me. Um, I have a little tea cart over here where I keep the booth and also some placemats underneath. And on the end, I think that's Play-Doh for Jackson. Not sure, but we could probably go through that and eliminate. And then over here, we've got a little nook with some shelving. And I definitely want to upgrade this. I'd like to paint and I'd like to replace the shelving in there. And then probably reorganize the pictures and things like that. They were just sort of put there when we moved in. You can also see I've got my nice silverware sitting here on the floor, which I'd like to integrate into the kitchen. Otherwise, the space is pretty clear. You can see I've also, there's the can of paint for um, the nook. And then also a chandelier that I'd like to have hung. And then these are just hooks where we hang our coats um, once we're inside, I have other hooks by the door for guests or just when we're running in and out. Okay, here's another closet. So this is my laundry room, which also happens to be right off of the dining room. So there are just doors that close. It works for me. Um, I like it because it's on my main floor. I also like it because it's hidden and there are two full-size machines in a not so huge space. So that's great. Um, this could definitely use some work. I think I'm looking at some additional shelving. I keep my bags in here, so maybe some kind of holder for that. The vacuum, it seems to be a good place to store it to keep it out of the way. And then I've already put some hooks over here just for the mop bucket. And then you can see hanging here, I've got hooks for the rooms and some things like that. So definitely a work in progress, but possibly looking at adding some shelves here. From the kitchen and the dining room, we come into the living room. So the living room was quite a big space, so I split it up into two areas. So this is sort of, I have squeaky floors as well. This is sort of the area for our son and our dog. I used this piece from Ikea with all the little cubes holding toys or books for him so that he can play on this main floor without always having to go up to his bedroom to get things. He keeps things tidier. He's able to clean up after himself. So this piece, this piece definitely works. Something else that's working um, for us, and it's simple, and I thought I'd share it, is this little basket over here that we have with hats, gloves, mitts, scarves, that thing. Um, and the ones we use, I keep by the door, I'll show you that in a moment, but these are our extras, so we can go to them if we need them, but they're out of the way. Same thing with balls. We do have a boy, so he enjoys playing with balls inside the house in the winter especially. And then of course, little things for Harry the dog. Coming into 
to the main area of our living room where we spend most of our time, we have time, we have it set up in a way that um, is best for conversation, for TV watching. The front door is there, so it's right when you come in. Um, one thing that we've had to do, especially in the winter, was put down some kind of runner to keep all of the wet boots and salt and all of that. As you can see, the salt tray is quite disgusting, but um, what can I say? I mentioned earlier about the gloves and mitts and hats and all of that that we use. We keep those in a basket right by the door so that they can collect up, they don't get all messy all over the place, um, and they're easy to grab. And then of course also a chair by the door so that people can sit down and put their boots on. Something else that really works for us are these hooks that we bought. Um, lower hooks of course for our son, higher hooks for my husband and I, and this holds bags, this holds jackets. It's also a great place we can clean it all off and when we have guests over they know right where to hang their coats when they come in. Something that's a bit messier is this table. Um, I <laughs> What can I say? Everything gets dropped here. So we just got back from a trip to Florida. You can see down here, I've got a little bag of things that may need to go into the garage for Christmas, um, but then also just randomness. So this usually gets cleaned up once a week, but definitely if I could find a better strategy or perhaps a better place to keep some of these things, um, that would help me and my organizing strategies. There is one great advantage to this table however and that is when company comes over all i have to do is close the top and voila you can't see a thing it's all covered and then i can open it back up when people leave now granted not the best to just cover things up but listen it's a family there's a lot of us that come in and out of these doors and to be able to have a place to drop things or to put things so we remember to get them done is priceless Something else that I did to take advantage of space was use both sides of this bookcase that um, our son uses. So on the one side you can see I put his books and then on the other side they hang over a little bit but I was able to put our books so it's aesthetically a bit better and also just provides more organizing space. This is the gaming center. So we have our Wii U, we have all of our games, and I used cubes from Ikea just to wrangle some of the other things like Skylanders. If any parent has Skylanders, they know what I'm talking about. And also just the remote controls as well. Okay, this is the one bathroom in the house. And it's whatever, it's a standard bathroom, nothing special about it. It's a bit small, the sink is quite small. Um, but it has a bathtub, which my husband was very excited about. And um, it's functional, and it's upstairs with all the bedrooms, so that's fabulous. So what I do need in this bathroom is storage. I have two shelves, oh, I'm gonna shake the medicine cabinet, and a medicine cabinet, which actually doesn't look so bad today. So um, anyways, it's, it's okay, but I have to store a lot of things in the bedroom. I've got this wall here over the toilet that I'd like to do something with, whether it's shelving or baskets or something creative. Um, you can see I'm taking advantage of some space with sticky hooks for puffs, but other than that, everything is sitting around the tub, so I don't like that. I've got to figure out a solution to take care of that and brings a bit more function here into the bathroom. Thanks so much for coming inside with me. Next week, I'll be taking you into the bedroom, the office, and the closets. But for more, you can always go to beautifullyorganized.ca.